We are all feeling overwhelmed about the state of the earth. A lot of people want to be able to feed themselves sustainably and they also want to be contributing positively to the planet, but they don't know how. We have potential solutions all over Britain, right on our doorsteps, if only people knew this. My name is JC and I'm a poet, artist and nature writer. I'm also incredibly fortunate to work with Julia and Sam. We are a collective who carry out projects together. We believe that the food system that most of us engage with at the moment, it's not helpful for anyone apart from those who are making money out of that system. What we want to highlight with this project is actually possibility. The artwork symbolises the number of people waiting to get allotment plots across Britain, 174,183. If you think that an allotment was designed to feed four people, that's nearly 700,000 people that could be fed from allotments. If you get six people from different households, you actually have the legal right to go to your council to demand an allotment site. Not enough people know that, and that's from Section 23 of the Allotment Act. We were hoping that the artwork could draw attention to this while educating people about this right. We designed this living artwork and we performed it at the Department of Leveling Up. After that, volunteers took the artwork to a site in Liverpool that's owned by Tesco, where they planted the artwork. Tesco are the biggest sellers of meat and dairy in the UK. Companies like Cargill supply Tesco. From the land, you can actually see the Liverpool docks where the Cargill ships come in to deliver soya, and this is a direct driver of deforestation. Everything that we put into the artwork had to be safe to go into the ground. So in between the tissue paper, we used wheat paste in order to add sunflower seeds, clover, rye grass, and mustard seed before bringing the sheets together. Seeds carry out a process called phytoremediation, which extracts all of the toxins from the soil. And what's wonderful in the meanwhile is you have beautiful plants to look at. Industrial food isn't actually sustainably feeding people. And the industrial food system has meant that environments have been devastated. Think about all of the emissions of food flown in from other parts of the world. There's also a lot of exploitation of people who are growing food. Couple that with the knowledge that the longest waiting time for an allotment plot is about 15 years. During the cost of living crisis, with all of the issues around climate and the biodiversity that allotments bring, that's just not acceptable. A just food system is where people who choose to can grow their own food, but that people have access to food that doesn't literally cost the earth that fruits and vegetables are not seen as a luxury, but as a staple. I hope that the change the waiting list will bring is that there will be no waiting list, that people will have access to urban land to grow their own food, and actually start to bring a change into the way cities are run so that they're more sustainable, and we can move away from unsustainable industrial food.